Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, I was this video was supposed to be on uh, Thursday or Friday, but I didn't get around to doing it. Um, different stuff in the way. So, anywho, this is um, my video of when I went to Doncaster. I didn't get any filming because Shadow wasn't very well, so I didn't want to have her out any longer than I needed to. Um, I caught with Peter Webster, and it was awesome. Thank you so much for my little assassin guys. Honestly, uh, uh, bugs, sorry. Uh, they're amazing. Um, absolutely love them. And I like my little merch thing you gave me as well, and that was awesome. And I hope you know, every single time now that I see you at a show, I'm going to expect a hug off you. So, just for one, you, Peter, I expect a hug every single time now. So, the reason why I'm doing today's video is to do my pickups. So... really rude right so i got some crested geckos of beach exotics from facebook so this is one of my little babies that i've got i i, I need you to turn around you can see that beautiful little face i want to see a beautiful little face yeah we do anyway he's not not playing so look how, he looks like a little caramel so cute the only thing i don't like about crested geckos is they can lose their tails that means we drop them. Um, but other than that, honestly, these are so cute. Um, I've never been bitten by any of these. Um, when I had the Torquays, I got a nasty bite off the Torquay gecko. Um, and when I had the Leopard Gecko, Respucia, she gave me a nasty little nip as well. But wasn't as bad. But these are brilliant. Absolutely lovely. So placid and so calm. Apart from when they're trying to jump around. But... And my other little baby was 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 the same as he. She she's like not jumpy at all, um. So nice and calm. So Ryan from Beach Exotics is a lovely chap. Um. Communication from him was amazing. I seen that he had some Cresties for sale, and that he was attending Doncaster, so we could pick him up from Doncaster if we wanted. Um, if you can't attend Doncaster, there is a, a career service, I think, or you can collect them from his home. So I will put um, some pictures up of um, how to contact him. And I believe he has a few of these amazing little guys left for sale. So if you are interested, make sure you hook up, hook up with him because he's amazing. Lovely lad he is. And I'm glad I got some little babies off him. He's beautiful. So anyway, this is the first one. You can't have all the limelight, can you? Because we've got another vid I've got some more videoing to do. And the other crested geckos need some time as well. So I'm just gonna chop him back into his little cricket keeper. And then I'll put him back in his viv. Yeah. So that's the first one. Second one is really different contrast of colour completely. This is one is even though it's light, it's not as light as this one. This one's really light. And it's so beautiful. Come here, little guy. So this one is like, like white. It's like a white colour. But it's got like mm, some like little dark dark patches, like spots on his back, which is really cool. But the the, the thing about all of these the most is their eyes. They've got like the slips in. Like the pupils have got the slips in. And they've got like a marble effect, um, colouring them for the rest, and it's it's really nice. And the eyelashes, oh, amazing eyelashes. And the tails, like I said, they do they can drop their tails, so that's a bit of a bit of a downside. But I do have two adults that I got off um, Mr Beach as well uh, that don't have the tails, but it doesn't make him any less. Fun. It just means that they don't have a tail. So yeah, this is this little guy. Oh, look at where's he? Or she? Look at the little face. I'm gonna be really careful though because they can they can jump, and they will jump to the camera because they're very very. Oh look at me! I'm on camera. So they want to try and get to the camera. So yeah, um, beautiful little guys. Shana absolutely loves these. I don't let her hold the little ones so long because they are quite fragile, especially with Chardonnay. 
so yeah right so I'm going to put this one back and get the the two adults show you the two adults that I've got because they're amazing right go on here you go you got another guy right so my first one nice dark colour lovely gecko though I love him right I think this is but I can't remember anyway so this is this is the other one so these two adults that I've got I've got this adult and, and uh, I've got a, a boy and a girl adult both off um, Ryan these are not for breeding the little babies are not for breeding either these are simply pets um, these two guys are on retirement here so they're just going to be loved and cared for and handled and just just have a nice life being absolutely adored so I don't know how well you'll be able to see that this on the camera but the crest is 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 really really more sticky out than what the, the babies are but you can see the eyelashes and everything is so so funky but these are lovely I love them it feels so weird as well like a bit like silky underneath when they walk across your hand and like the underbelly and even the tops of the heads and stuff feel all silky don't you yeah. you're looking the eyes are beautiful again I love the pat the patteration of these as well got some really funky colorations and patterns and overall just generally love them I think they're amazing I think everyone should have a crusty gecko because it's super cool super amazing and they're so fun so I'm going to put this guy back and while I'm videoing this I will be putting lots of different things up of Mr Beach he's had some really good reviews mine included uh, just a generally nice guy so make sure you check him out if you're interested in a crested gecko because honestly he, he really cares about his crested geckos and he really does look after them so I'm going to put this one back and get the other female that I got or male, whichever no I think this is a female so if I'm right this is Grande, Grande, Grande are you Grande? hey, are you Grande? Are you even listening to me? I don't think she's listening. Are you listening to me? Hey, hey, are you Grande? Excuse me. Sorry if I'm not getting good footage of her. Hey, are you Grande? Hey, excuse me. Before you go jumping off, um, are you Grande? Hello? 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 Oh, you can see a crest right there. You see the little sticky out bits. I, I don't move because like like that side and that side. It's a little crest. Oh, that's it. She's not showing you anymore. Yeah, so I think this is Grande. She's not usually as dark as this. So I think that's something to do with them being fired up or fired down. I'm still getting used to all that fire up, fire up and fire down stuff. So I will get my other one out. Right, Ari, um, Ari and Grande. Right, um, Miss Grande, am I alright to put you back so I can get the why you look in my hand? Right, I'm going to put you away and we'll get the other one out. Here you go, here you go, sweetheart. Sit there. <sighs> so, this is, um, yes, this is definitely the boy. I believe this one's a Dalmatian simply because uh, look it all don't want to come from the business today uh, can you see the, like the spots I think that means he's got Dalmatian in him so this one I can't even pronounce his name and I've totally forgotten but anyway this is this is an awesome dude here um, again lovely lovely colours on him if, you, if he'll allow you to see these colours um, light and dark, awesome. And that's what I like about these. 
um, they come with a lot of variation, different colours and different spots, stripes, colours, different fire up and fire downs. Honestly, they're so amazing with the colours. So amazing. And honestly, they are so cute as well. Like, they're amazing to handle. And yeah, you can jump over. Come and see if we could get you to jump on my hand. You can jump. You can jump. Platform right there. Yes! <gasps> ah, that was so good. I've got to give you a 10.1 for that. So yeah, these are absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the little face. Look at the little eyes. Hello, say hello. Say hello, subscribers. Hello, viewers. You can just to say see. Just say uh, that is a little crest that goes from the eye, right the way around the eye, around the head, all the way down. I'm going to get little spikes, don't you? Hmm? The feet are actually quite amazing. They got like these little, like, like uh, I think the hairs, little tiny hairs, like little pads that they can climb up. That's why they're able to climb like straight up things like that. Which is quite cool. You see them sometimes on the night time they're climbing up the glass and whatever. It's so cool. But yeah, honestly, give Ryan Beach a check out if you're ever considering getting a crested gecko. And he also, if you've got any problems after, which this is what I absolutely love, he's got aftercare too. And all you have to do is message him and ask. And honestly, he will bend over backwards to help you because he, he really is... A, a nice guy really nice guy and as you can see these are all from him and they're all amazing not that crusty geckos in general are not amazing but yeah that is super awesome I love him so um, there you go sweetie so Brighton Show is next Sunday. Unfortunately, I won't be attending. Um, it's really too far for me to travel uh, and stay overnight and, and stuff like that. I've got Christmas and before Christmas at Chardonnay's birthday, so it is a little bit too close. Um, but I have said to a friend and fellow YouTuber that I will be attending the Brighton show for next year. I will make it next year. Um gives me a whole year to save up lots of spondulies to go down like and have a nice time because I really enjoy t attending these shows. Honestly, it's so nice. I've met some really amazing people and I I, I want to next year I'm hoping to get to both Bristol and Brighton shows because they're the only two that I haven't been to. I'd like to go up the seas one, but again, it's way, 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 way out. Um, but my plan is for Bristol and Brighton for next year. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And before that, I'm going to have a drink because my throat's killing me. Super sore. And it fizz out. Ugh. Wait. So I hope you enjoy enjoyed seeing my new pickups from Doncaster. Like I said, I didn't get any footage because Chardonnay was, wasn't very well, so I didn't want to keep her out. It was too long. So my new babies are all doing super well, and I love them to bits. And you should definitely get one because they're amazing and they're awesome. And I hope you enjoy the video. I have got an IHS video from September, so if you do want to see what... The IHS is all about. Check out my video. There is other YouTubers videos out there as well on the show about the show, so be sure to check them out. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.